The subscriber management system has the facility to import the data from the Excel file. Here is the format of the Excel file in which you are supposed to enter the data. First column is a customer code that is a subscriber code which you are supposed to enter over here. Then there is a customer name that is your subscriber name that you enter over here. The address of the subscriber, country name, state name, city name, zone name, area name, colony name, wing name, mobile, phone and email will be entered here. Opening balance is the balance that we are supposed to take or supposed to give to the subscriber. That is, it, it can be debit, it can be credit. Enter opening balance amount in this column. And if it is a debit, enter debit over here or enter credit over here. The way it is mentioned on the heading. Then there is a payment type. Payment type can be monthly, 3 month, 6 month, 9 month or 1 year. That you are supposed to enter it over here like this. nine months or one year then there is a registration date the date on which the subscriber gets registered into our firm will be entered over here then there is a billing date the date on which bills are generated of the subscriber is your billing date then there is a current charges that charges if analog customer and you are supposed to charge monthly charges from the uh, subscriber that will come over here then there is a collection person installation person and repairing person those are your employees and name should be entered over here then there is a hardware name in which you are supposed to enter your hardware name then give vc number serial number that is your stb number sell rate of the hardware rental amount if it is rented then type if it is a package or channel that is package given on that hardware should be entered like this if it is a package then enter package otherwise channel then give the package name over here charges for that package payment due date on the date which he is supposed to pay the payment then there is a customer type if you want to maintain any type you can type it over here credit limit in amount whatever credit limit you can give to the customer should be entered over here credit days the grace period given to the subscriber to give the payment before the deactivations will be given over here is active if it is an active customer say when if it is a deactive de customer say zero is free if the customer is free then type one over here if he is pay paid customer then type zero over here connection type connection type if it is a digital then write digital if it is an analog you write it analog over here is advanced that is if he is a prepaid or postpaid if it is a prepaid write prepaid if it is a postpaid write postpaid bill type give one over here then SAF that is a safe number that you have given to the subscriber extra information if you want to give any you can type it over here franchisee code that is the code which uh, of the franchisee that will be entered over here then there is a narration remarks remarks 2 remarks 3 remarks 4 those are the remarks if you want to give to any subscriber type it over here after the file is created save the file like this 
then login into the subscriber management system there is a facility in a setup menu to import the data select the file path from here give the row number to start importing that is excel row number and the row number to end till the data exists row number should be entered over here like here it is a 92 so 90 92 should be entered over here then click import data with subscriber with stock you will get a message data imported successfully then from the subscriber master you can check it out whether the data are imported properly or not from the search you can check out This is how the data are imported into the subscriber management system.